Okay, the first step is to draw a circle with your pencil, but this isn't gonna be a teeny tiny circle. This circle is gonna be bigger than your hand, okay? At the top of your paper, I'm not gonna use a pencil. I'm gonna have to use a Sharpie so that you can see on my overhead. Ready? I know, I always use a Sharpie because Sharpies are my favorite. Okay, this circle has to be pretty big that my hand's bigger than yours, but your hand should be able to fit in the middle of your circle. Can you draw a circle at the top of your paper? No. We are going to make a color wheel. I know, isn't that exciting? I know what those. Yeah, you know what that is? Yeah, it's like stuff. That's good. Mm. Yeah, mm-hmm. I guess I'm trying to be a YouTuber also because I started my own YouTube channel for your project so that you can go and make these projects anytime you want, okay? Now, I'm gonna come by and see if you have your circle. All right, if your hand fits in your circle, then you are ready for the next step. We need to break this circle up into pieces. It's gonna be kind of like breaking it up into like pie pieces or, pieces. or pizzas. Mm-hmm, me too. Okay, so the, the first line, kind of like a cake, yeah. So the first line is gonna go all the way from this side of our circle to this side of the circle. We're gonna cut this circle in half. So now we have one, two pieces to our circle. Can we do it in the middle? Oh. Okay. Yes, in the middle. Now we're gonna make a line from the top of our circle to the bottom of our circle. This is gonna cut our circle into four pieces. It's kind of like a big plus sign with a circle around it. I like the crown. Yeah. Then we're gonna cut our circle again, okay? This time it's gonna be a diagonal line. So we're gonna start over here on this side and this line's gonna come through the middle and go all the way over to the other side and we're gonna make a big X. Because we're gonna do it one more time on this side. And then now we can count our pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do you have eight pieces to your circle? Now it's time to color our wheel or our umbrella or our pizza. But can you find a red crayon in your bag. Can you find a red crayon? We're gonna color our first piece red. So find a piece on your wheel, on your wheel and color it red. Can you find an orange color? Orange. We're gonna color this next piece right next to the red, right beside it, we're gonna color that piece orange. We have to color in all the white spots. That's how we color neatly, okay? The other way to color neatly is to make sure that you're coloring in one direction, just like the band. Are we too young for that joke? Apparently so. Kaylee, oh, your sister? She knows that joke? No, um, it's a song. Oh, she knows that band, One Direction? Mm -hmm. She has a band, and I have this. Oh, my goodness. Okay, getting all the tea today. Um, what color do you think is going to go here? Green. Yellow. Um, it's, it, it's the color that makes orange. Yellow. Yellow. Yellow and red make orange, right? Yep. Right? Okay, so that means that the orange has to go in between the red and the yellow. 
yellow is going to go on this side. I'm good at it because I've had lots of practice. Okay. Now, yellow makes two colors. It makes orange and it makes green. green. And you should have in your crayon bag box, you should have two different color greens. You should have a light green. That's called yellow green. And you should have a regular green. Can you... Can you hold up your two crayons? I do. Let me see. Very good. The first one that we're gonna use is the light green or the yellow green, okay? We're gonna use the yellow green to color in this piece right next to the yellow. I like your phone, please. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, once you have your yellow green colored in, where do you think the other green is going to go? Right next to the light green. That's right. So you're going to use this regular green color in this piece next to the yellow green. It does take patience. Plenty of patience. Plenty of patience. Okay, it's not a race. Take your time so that it's nice and neat. Okay? And we yes, yours is neat. And we're gonna get all that white space. All that white space. Okay, green is a secondary color. And blue. Oh wait, you're giving all my answers away too fast. Okay, what color makes green? What two colors? What two colors make green? Blue, blue, blue. and purple. No, it's yellow and blue. 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 Can you find a blue crayon? Found it. Found it. Found it. I'm looking for the right one. Hey, guess what? The, the really cool thing about blues there's lots of blues. There are lots of blues. Let's try to find the one that's real blue. And it says it on your crayon. It says B-L-U-E. Blue. You found it? Yep. Good. Wait, is it just blue? Oh, that's a light blue. So we, I thought we were using dark blue. Is it this one? We're going to use, we're going to use one blue color. Okay, so pick one blue color in your bag. One blue and color this space blue. Ooh, I'm, my camera's shaking all over the place. I'm coloring so hard that I'm shaking my camera. Wait, that is blue. Oh, I got out of the lines. Try to stay in the lens. This is blue. Okay. Now, blue and red and yellow are our primary colors. Remember we talked about that last week? And our secondary colors are orange, green, and... Purple. So we need to find a purple to put in this spot. That's what that's what we're missing. We're missing our purples. It's okay. We can fix it. We're gonna color this spot purple. You should have one more piece left. And guess what? There is a color in your box or your bag that has a red and a purple to it. It's kind of like a dark red or a light purple, and it looks like this. This color is called red violet. Yep, that's it. Now, what is another word for violet? What does violet mean? It means purple. Violet means purple. So this is, this is called, that's it. This is called red-violet because it's kind of like a mix in between the red and the purple. 
So we're gonna put the mix in between the red and the purple. We're gonna put this mix, it's called red violet, right in the middle of the red and the purple, okay? So that's your last piece. And then our color wheel will be complete. Not. And we're gonna turn our color wheel into an umbrella. Into an umbrella. And I'm gonna show you how to draw a person. A person. Our yeah. person is gonna be wearing a raincoat. Have you ever worn a raincoat before? I yeah. have. Yeah. A raincoat helps you stay protected from the rain. Well, the rain might get your clothes wet. And what if you don't want to get your clothes wet? wet? Then if you, wear, if you wear a raincoat, then the rain will just go right off. Well, our head is going to be hidden by our color wheel. Okay. So this is what we're going to, this, this is what we're going for. Okay. We're trying to make, we're trying to make our color wheel look like an umbrella and we're hiding behind the umbrella and we're kind of, you know how sometimes you twirl it and yeah, yeah that's kind of what we're doing so i'm going to show you how to make the raincoat and the pants and the boots and the puddle you ready yeah. I'm gonna have to make okay of course i'm using a sharpie because look. i love sharpie okay I actually love that. Can you find, like, but you know, black black and brown aren't on the color wheel, but that looks beautiful. Uh, okay, go have a seat. Can you, find it, can you put your crayons up and find a pencil again? We're going to need a pencil. Got it. We're going to need a pencil. It's okay. We'll come back to it, okay? We'll come back to it in just a minute. Now, at the bottom of your color wheel slash umbrella, we're going to make a line that comes down. And we're going to make another line that comes down. And then we're going to connect these two lines at the bottom with another line. And sometimes my raincoats have buttons on them. So I'm going to make one, two, three circles for three buttons on my raincoat. And then if you want to add another line for your, um, the opening to your raincoat, you can do that. We are going to draw three lines. These lines are going to be our legs. Of course, we only have two legs, but we have to draw three lines so that they look realistic. Because we don't have stick legs, do we? No. No, we don't draw stick legs in here. So we're going to draw one, two, three lines. But these three lines are going to be our pants, okay? Our pants. Then I'm going to draw a line underneath those, but I'm going to have a piece of it sticking out on the edges. Do you see that? Can you tell? No. Can. This line is a little bit longer than our legs. It comes out a little bit on the edges. Yeah. This is going to be the top of our boots. Okay. So we're going to go down at a little bit of a diagonal not straight down but it's going to come towards the middle a little bit this line's going to come towards the middle a little bit and then of course we have to have our line separating our boots and this is a little trick this next part we're just going to have um the little tip of our boot showing. So I'm gonna show you a little trick on how to draw that. It's start start here where we left off in the middle. And this is gonna be kind of a curved line that goes from this, the bottom of this line, to the bottom of this line, 
with a curve. Like a bump. So we're going to go bump, bump. Bump, bump. It looks like its feet disappeared. <laughs> bump, bump. And then we have to make the bottom of our boots. Okay? So the bottom of our boots, that's going to be kind of a straight line connecting the bump bumps. I did it. Good. Now that's, that's your two rain boots. Okay? Now, we are going to be standing inside of a rain puddle, okay? The rain puddle is gonna be under our feet. So the way that we draw that is we have to start our rain puddle behind our boot. So you see, I'm gonna show you. On the side of your boot, you're gonna draw a line that comes out this way. And it can be a little wiggly. A, a line that comes out from the boot. This is going to be the water puddle. A line that comes out from the boot and it can wiggle a little bit. It's going to come underneath our feet. Doesn't have to be straight. It can wiggle. It's okay. It's okay to wiggle. It's okay to wiggle. Okay. Then this line is going to come all the way around and it's going to stop behind our boot. That will make it look more realistic. Okay, like we're standing inside of a puddle. Like we're standing inside of a puddle. Very nice. So you could have a big puddle or you could have a small puddle. And that is up to you. But this is what I want you to do next. If you are done coloring your rain boots and your raincoat, you can take, you can take a blue crayon and you can draw little bitty raindrops, little tiny raindrops in your background. Yeah, because guess what? It's raining outside. Did you know that? Well, it, it is in our, in our art. It's raining in our art right now. So we have to draw the rain. See, it made a big puddle. Did you have fun drawing your color wheel umbrella? Did you have fun? Yeah. Good. I dropped the rain. You drew the rain? Yeah. 